Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. This is a different tutorial of all the other ones I have done. This is um, a tutorial for using Corel Paint Shop Pro 10, which is the latest version of Corel Paint Shop Pro. Okay. Now, what we're going to do today, we're going to make a blog type image where um, the user who's using the image can type in that box, can type in the box, and have a little blog about themselves, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and find a picture, and we'll start editing from there. Okay, I have found my picture, and now I'm going to right-click and hit Paste as New Image. Okay, it's, it's a big image, just like that. Okay? So now we're gonna go to we're gonna resize the image so it's seventy five percent smaller than the original size. So um click on the top image and then hit resize or shift s, whichever you prefer. And then we're gonna manage here the pixel dimensions. Percent. Make sure this is on percent, not pixels. Width seventy five, height seventy five. And then hit OK. Now you have a hundred percent um right there 100 percent picture without losing anything so now what we want to do we're going to add a border to this image so to add a border to this image you want to go to image add borders and hit symmetric type in one in one of these boxes and make the color black okay and now if i stretch the picture out you could actually see the black border right there. Okay. Now, um. Okay. Now that you have the the border around the image, um, you could easily see it right there, like I said. And then hit the button S, and make sure this right here selection tool is selected. But before we go anywhere for there, we're gonna affect we're gonna use an effect on the whole image that will um we're gonna add um what am I trying to say? We're gonna use an effect on the image. So go to effects and I'm gonna go to texture effects. Okay, and then hit blinds, which is the first one. Okay. And now, do what I have here. Color, white. Horizontal, light from left to top. Width to opacity, 10. Okay. And then, and then hit OK. Okay, and just hit OK. And you're gonna see um, white strokes going across the whole image. Okay. Oops. Um. Okay. Once you have done that, um, you could see, like I just said, if you notice, the image name is keep is keeps changing because I'm saving this for the web tutorial. Okay. And then. We're going to add some lighting effects to it. So hit effects and go down to illumination effects, which is the seventh one down, and hit lights. Okay? And do the exact same thing like I have. Okay? Okay, I'm just going to go through all the, the dimensions and whatnot. Okay. You're going to see five little images here. Hit the fourth one, like I have. And darkness, make that 85. And then come over to settings and make sure that the on button is selected. Okay? And the color is C8, 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 or RGB is 200, 200, 200. Then come over to horizontal and make that negative 89. Smoothness, make that 28. Intensity, 20. Vertical, 32. Cone size, 63. Direction, 
83, scale 10, and then uh, isometry 500, and then hit OK. And you'll see the, um, how the light is affected. It's dark over here and lighter over there. Okay. Now we're going to make um, an actual box. So hit the selection button again. And then select a point. Like here to there. Okay. And then hit the flood tool. Or hit F. And then make your foreground color black. Like it already is. Oh, mine's just different. Black. Okay. And then all these settings should match. Match mode, all opaque. Tolerance 20. Use all layers is checked. Blend mode normal. And opacity 56. So then just hit once in this here. And you'll see how you could still see the background of that just with the black covering over it. You can use white if you wanted to, like that, but black makes it stick out a little more. But we're not done yet of this selection. So I want you to go to Selections, Modify, Select Selection Borders. Okay? Okay, click on that, and then do everything that I have. <coughs> have outside selected and border width equal 1. Okay, and then just hit OK. Now, you can now easily add a border around here. If you zoom in to about 400%, you can actually see there's an indent or free space between two um, boxes. Yes, there's two now, not one. Okay, now you want to go back to your flood tool and choose a color. We'll make it white. And then fill that. Oh, make sure opacity is 100. Fill one side. Fill the next. Fill that one. And fill that one. Now that you have everyone filled, go back to 100%. Hit A. And then Control D to deselect. Now there's a border around the, the part. Okay? So, next we'll add some text. So, hit your T button. Okay? and then select whatever font you want we'll, we'll just use we'll use Jack Lantern BB change the size, we'll go 28 anti-alias sharp not bold we'll make it white text okay and then type your text here Okay, we're gonna make it a little bigger. We'll go 36. Okay, but looks a little boring. So then you want to go to stroke width here and make that one. Now there's gonna be black around it. Okay, hit apply. And come over here and just move it down there. Hit Control D to deselect it. And there you go, you got that part down. Okay. Now, um, since that's already a layer, we're gonna hit the magic wand and select in there. It's only gonna select the part you want it to select. So you're gonna have to play with these tools until you get it, until it selects it all. Like it just did. But. Okay. Now it has selected that. And we're gonna fill that with a gradient. Okay? 
So hit your foreground color and come to gradient and find the one that says foreground. Okay? And hit make the angle of that forty five. And then hit OK. Now you can see right there. Then you're not gonna it's not gonna let you fill it yet. So you're gonna have to reselect it and then fill it. So now you gotta click everywhere. You gotta click basically. So you could always go to the paintbrush and um just get a a big circular brush and just paint right over it like I'm gonna do okay let's go 51 and just drag see some parts aren't gonna let you do it so you might so you can't just draw like that so it's really best not to actually have something like that like a gradient you have to get really fine in there so you don't really need a gradient if you don't want a gradient but I like gradients so you can always just mess around with that how you want it you know whichever you want but for now we're just not going to add a gradient and then um, basically it's completed and then you go ahead and put it on your your website or whatever and um, I'll show you what I have okay I open up my notepad and just made a little PHP document that'll have an image source in it so then file save whatever and then open up your web browser and um, you can see now that your finished product is like that and voila and now um, I'm going to teach you how to um, basically code it so you can insert your text from here to there well I'm not going to do it myself because I'm not that good with it and um, so I want you to go to Google and type in the Ryzen Realm. Okay, I want you to search the Ryzen Realm like I have spelled like there. Okay. And hit the first one. It'll bring you to the Ryzen Realm like this. Okay. You'll see everything here. Then, um, forgot where it was. Um, okay. Okay, then I want you to go to this URL, um, the ryzenrealm.com slash blog underscore coder dot HTM, HTM. And then scroll down and hit launch. Make sure you don't have a pop up looker so it won't block the pop ups on this hit next and then I'm gonna go ahead and upload the picture and I'll be right back okay and I'm gonna enter the rule that I have it uploaded on which will be will differ from yours okay and then you wanna find the image width so go back to here and you'll see it's 425 by 324 so, 4, 2, 4, 2 what? 4, 5, 2, huh? by 3, 2, 4. Okay. And then, scroll down, you'll see your image. Hit next. Okay, um, you could set some CSS here. i just do some for now. No scroll bar. Okay, and then hit next, 
and just type in blah blah blah. Put a couple breaks so we could see it. Okay, hit next. Okay. Um then we'll call this PSPX block. Whatever. Hit strict. Doesn't matter. Made a text. No. Hit next. Do not check that one and keep this on tables. And hit next. Scroll down so you can see the whole image. And I click the top left corner. We'll just click. You don't really want to click the actual top left corner of the box. Click about one or two pixels below it. And you want to select the bottom right. So we'll just click right there. It's going to look weird. So if it looks weird, you can always hit next. I mean back. And then, you know, just hit there. And then go to there. Okay. It's going to look like that. Okay, well, whatever. For now, we'll just keep it like that and hit next. Then just copy and paste everything like that. And go back to your right here. And hit File, Save. And then go back to localhost slash php, PSP. And you'll see it has coded itself. Voila. I'm sure you could easily just change the width. The width will be like looks like 150 to me. We'll just see what happens. I need to just experiment with it. So yeah, looks maybe 225. And then just keep changing it until you wanna. Why didn't the image show up that time? That's weird. Could just be the servers down. But, um, here, I'll just quickly change that. So we can actually see it ourselves. Hit refresh. Still a little too small. Go to 250 or something like that. Save. Still a little too small. Go to 270. Too big. 267. Too big, 265, and that's perfect. And you could easily just type whatever you want in there, and you've completed this tutorial. Um, hope you enjoy this tutorial, and you could find um, a non-audio tutorial on my website by clicking the link next to the word director. And if you thought these this tutorial was helpful and you like my other videos, you can hit the orange button that says subscribe and you will automatically receive my videos as soon as I upload them. And um, if you thought this video was also helpful again, you could rate it by clicking one out of the five stars below this video. And I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time.